Hey everyone, I'm Hillary with the channel Fuel Your Wander, and today we're gonna give you a full in-depth tour of our new Class A motor home. So before I show you the inside, I'm gonna give you a few details about our house on wheels. We purchased this RV back in January of this year. It was brand new. It's a 2023 American Coach American Dream 45A. 45A means that she is 45 feet long, so she's a massive rig. She is built on a custom Freightliner chassis, and she has 605 horsepower with a Cummins engine. Chris is gonna do a full exterior tour in an upcoming video, and he'll give you all the details about the specs of our engine, tanks, and all that good stuff, and also all the storage that we have under this. We've been living full-time in this RV since January, and before we bought this RV, we had a used Super C motorhome. We decided to get this one because this one just better fit our needs for full-time RV living. It's got a lot more space inside and a lot better features that we really wanted in a living space. All right, enough talk. Let's head inside and we're gonna give you the full tour of our amazing house on wheels, which by the way, her name is Carly. So come on and take a look. We had a lot of different choices when we were deciding on a new motorhome. So we're gonna give you a rundown of some of the reasons why we decided to pick this specific manufacturer and model. So like I mentioned, this is an American Coach Dream 45A. One of the things about this that was unique compared to a lot of competitor models was it had the bigger size engine that we, Chris actually really wanted to have. Um, so it had a better engine and it was for a better price overall for a lot of the features that we were able to get as part of this RV. So starting here with the cockpit, one of our favorite things about a Class A motorhome is that you have these huge front windows. This is really nice when we're parked in a nice location like we are right now where we've got views of the pond, grass and other sites. So it's just a really nice feature to be able to look out of the front windows when you're driving or when you're at a place like this. First, the passenger side area. We've got two nice captain's chairs here. These do turn around when we're parked. So if you want additional seating, you could use these as reclining chairs. Over here, I've got a passenger navigation. This is really nice to have because when Chris is driving and he typically drives the RV, I'm able to help navigate and put in our directions in the GPS here, and I can help guide him with where to go. So that's a nice screen. It also shows things like the cameras. Then over here, we've got a small compartment. We've got got a bunch of cabinets up above with some additional storage space and we've also got this TV which I think is like a 32 or 40 inch TV so it's a pretty good sized TV. In these cabinets over here we've got some of our slide out mechanisms and then we've also got our internet where we store up here and then there's just some other electronics and components for the coach that are in all of these storage compartments. All right, then moving into the driver's seat, which I'll be honest, is a place I don't sit very often since Chris does a lot of our driving. One of the things that we really liked about this coach as well was just the overall driving experience for the driver. It's really designed so that everything is accessible and visible for the driver, which makes it a really nice driving experience. Also, because of the chassis that this sits on, it is incredibly smooth. So our Super C, it had an engine in the front like a typical truck, and it didn't have air ride suspension. So it was a very bumpy and noisy ride. With this, it's a diesel pusher. So the engine is in the back, and it also has an air ride suspension. So it's incredibly smooth and very easy to drive overall, considering the size of this rig. So we've got a digital dash here, and then we've got two screens. This one is typically for the navigation or radio, and then this one shows the different cameras all around the rig. And we even have a camera that shows a 360 degree bird's eye view. We've got all the controls down here, which are easy to access. We can do things like turning on the generator. Um, we've got cruise control, adaptive cruise control, some nice technologies with this newer rig. And then over here, we've got our leveling system. We have an automatic leveling system, which is really great for anytime we're parked, all we have to do is press a button and it automatically levels the rig. And this thing works so well compared to our last RV. So that was again, one of the features we wanted was a very advanced leveling system. So moving into the living and kitchen space of our motor home, one thing you'll probably notice about a motor home in contrary to a fifth wheel or a different type of trailer is that there's not really a separation of space between the kitchen and the living room. It's kind of just one big open area. 
But what we love about this is that we have opposing slide outs. We have a massive slide out on this side and it goes the whole length of the coach. So it really opens up the RV. And then we've got two slide outs on this side. And this is one with this couch and with the kitchen. It is all part of one big slide out. And then we have one for the bed in the back bedroom. We've got two couches here. And these are really nice to have for anytime if we have guests over or if we just need a little bit of extra space, this is a great couch. It is also a queen size sofa bed. So you can pull out the cushions and it converts into a bed. We've got a Televator TV, which I'll show you here in a second. And then lots of storage up here. We've got things like a sound bar that are built in, um, but you can see here some of just our storage, tons of areas to hide all of our knickknacks and other types of items that you have. Since this is our full-time house, we're always in need of more storage. On this side, we've got our theater seating sofa. So I'll show you, we've got some buttons here where it automatically lifts up. So I can just touch a button here and the couch will recline. These are comfy. This is where Chris and I typically sit and hang out to watch TV. And then I'll show you, we've got a button up here which lifts the Televator TV. And on the opposite side, you can see our TV here popping up. And that's just a nice feature to have. So that way, if we want to have the windows out, we can have that. Or if we want to have the TV up, we can do that as well. Then moving into the dining room and kitchen area. So on this side, we've got the dinette booth. Um, there is storage underneath the booth, so we can pull these out and it does have a good bit of storage. This is where we put a lot of our work supplies and such. And then up here, Again, more storage. You're gonna hear that theme a lot in the RV, but this is where we keep a lot of our cleaning supplies, laundry, things like that. So lots of space to have that. The booth is one of those things that's, it's really nice to have, but we would rather, instead of having the booth itself, have chairs. That's what we had in our last RV and we really liked that setup. So at some point we'll probably take this booth out and put chairs in instead, but for right now, it serves a good purpose. And this is where we eat meals or we also work from here and have this set up as a workstation. And then most importantly, this is also Axel's cozy little den. We put his bed here one time and he just loved it. He thinks of this as his little cave and he feels nice and safe and secure down there. So we just leave his bed in there and that's sort of Axel's little space. In the kitchen, this is also one of the reasons why we ended up going with this specific model. It had a pretty good sized kitchen for a Class A motorhome. A lot of Class A's tend to go smaller in the kitchen, so we wanted something that had a lot of space and had all the features that we were looking for. One of those things was a really big window here. We wanted to have that natural light coming in so we can really feel like we're kind of outside and outdoors being in an RV. It also has gorgeous backsplash and countertops. These are really nice. Um, quartz countertops, I think, or granite. And then we've got lots of cabinets here, a couple appliances here too that are great. So we've got a microwave induction oven combo. We don't really use this much for the induction oven, but it is a really nice microwave. And then here is one of my favorite parts. We've got a secret hidden dishwasher, which you just knock to unlock it. This thing, we did not think we were gonna use this very often in the RV, but we use it every single day. You have to do smaller loads with it, but once you get used to using it, it works great. And we love not having to scrub the dishes every night. We've got drawers here for space like silverware, cooking utensils. We've got our little coffee bar set up here. Chris makes the most amazing lattes for me every morning. Big stainless steel farmhouse style sink. This is one of those things that's really nice to have as a large sink in an RV. Got a big pull-out storage space here underneath to keep all of our cleaning supplies and Axel's food. So that gives us a ton of room. And then up here, we're able to keep all of our plates and pots and pans and things. So again, just loads of storage, which I'm always shocked that we're able to put this much stuff inside an RV. And then here, we've also got a pull-out peninsula. This is great to have whenever I'm cooking. It just helps to give me a little bit more prep space, having more of that countertop. So that's... A great feature and it's got a couple drawers where we're able to keep some just sort of miscellaneous kitchen items then on the other side of the kitchen here we have our full-size residential refrigerator and this thing is amazing i honestly don't know if we could do rv life if we had to have one of those really small little refrigerators it's got tons of space inside so we're able to do costco hauls and stock up before we go on a long rv trip and can just bring lots and lots of food with us 
Also, I did want to mention one of the things we started doing was collecting magnets from some of the different places that we've been in the RV. When you live in an RV, you don't have a lot of space for things like mementos and knickknacks and all that. So we thought getting magnets from each of the places we visited would be a good way to remember some of those things. Pantry back here, which has pull out drawers. So this is really great to be able to store all of our cooking items, spices, and you know things like rice and pasta and all that good stuff are in here. And then this, again, thinking about things that we would have to have for full-time RV living, a washer and dryer is an absolute must. So we have a full-size stackable washer and dryer in here. This is something that's also a lot better from our last RV because the dryer is on the same voltage that a house dryer is. So it actually dries your clothes really well and these work awesome. Then over here, we have the main control center for the entire RV. So this computer system controls pretty much everything that we need to in the RV. We can look at the electric and control that here. We can view all of the different lights and turn those on and off. We can run all the AC units. We've got three different fans in the RV, so we can run those. We also have automatic blinds, which is such a nice touch. So with the touch of a button, we can put all the blinds down or all the blinds up. And we can also control individual ones. And then this is also where we can control the slide outs from as well as the three awnings that we have for the exterior of our RV. The nice thing about this is that this uh, is compatible with iPhones or just smartphones, I guess. And so there's an app that you can download and we can actually control all of this remotely from our phones or just if we don't feel like getting off the couch. <laughs> then in here we have our half bathroom. And this is a nice space. Um, this is actually Chris's bathroom, but it's a nicely finished half bathroom, kind of small, but it does the job. And this is really great to have for travel days, especially because when the slide outs are retracted, you have to crawl over the bed to get to the back bathroom. So this is a nice bathroom to have either for guests or just on travel days or so that Chris doesn't make a mess in my bathroom. Moving into the bedroom. This bedroom is a very good size for an RV. And again, continuing, this is the big slide out that we have. So it's just one massive slide out that really opens the space up. And then we've got the slide out over here for the bed. So when we travel, this is fully put together and you can't walk between the space. So the bed and the dresser go up next to each other. Ton of space here with a large king size bed. And we've, we also have two nightstands on either side of the bed. These have wireless chargers here, which is a really nice touch. And we've also got USB connections down there. And then underneath here, we've got a keypad which controls all the lights and things like that as well. So that way, whenever we're lying in bed, we can just hit a button and we can turn off all the lights. Then on this side with the dresser, we've got a ton of space for clothes. That was one of the things we were kind of surprised by is just how much clothing space we have. So we've got these on either side where we can put some hanging clothes. And then we've got a bunch of drawers here that have quite a bit of space for all of our clothes. So, you know, when you move into an RV, you definitely have to downsize some, but this one does give us quite a bit of space. And then behind the TV here, which this is our third TV inside. We have a total of four TVs, one outside, <laughs> but in here we've got uh, our vacuum cleaner and some additional storage space. And this is also where the safe is hidden, which we keep all of our jewels, cash, and gold bars in. First of all, I'm totally kidding. It's empty. It's got nothing in it. <laughs> People are always like, someone's going to break in and steal that. I'm like, well, they would be severely disappointed if they did. This is just a great bedroom because like I said, it gives us a lot of space and we really enjoy having this. Also, in case you didn't know this, it is just Chris and I in the RV. So we're just a couple. We don't have kids in the RV with us. This is a great setup if you are a couple. If you're a family, you're probably gonna need to look at a different floor plan. Moving into the bathroom, which is the final room of our tour. So the bathroom is another one of those things that we just absolutely fell in love with when we were touring these different models at an RV show. The shower is probably one of my favorite parts. It is such a nice, sleek shower. It's got this really nice tile design. And it's a pretty big size shower. It's a little bit narrow, but overall it's a great size. And you know, it's got the step here and it's got really nice finishes. So that's one of those things we just love having this full size, nice snazzy shower. Then over here, we've got a vanity. This specific model only came with one sink in the bathroom. They do have other ones that come with two sinks if you're interested in that, but there's a ton of storage, you know, under the sink here, we've got quite a lot. And then we've also got storage all around the top of the sink with 
cabinets above as well. So lots of space for all of our toiletries and girly items. <laughs> then over here, we've got a closet. This is something that's really nice to have as well as a full closet where we can store all of our hanging clothes. We've got a shoe rack in there, our laundry hamper, backpack, and some other things like that. And then this over here is actually our emergency exit. So if you notice with a Class A motorhome, we only have one exterior door up near the front passenger side. So if for some reason we were ever to roll over or if the door got stuck or if something happened, this is an emergency exit and these actually become steps to get out of here. We hope you enjoyed getting an in-depth full tour of our house and wheels and how we're able to use this for full-time RV living. Chris and I both work full-time, we live full-time on the road, we sold our house, so this is our full-time home and it provides us with pretty much everything that we could ever need. So a lot of people are like, how do you live in such a small space? And the reality is we feel like this is huge and we feel like we've got everything that we need and we really don't need any additional space. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date on the latest content. And also if you have ideas that you would like to see us make future videos on, different topics related to RV life or travel or just things that you'd like to know, leave us a comment and we'll be sure to use that for future content ideas. Thanks everyone.